Hey everyone, today's video is going to be an in-depth guide on how to unlock the gold camo for assault rifles in Call of Duty Mobile. I'll cover all the requirements needed to unlock the gold camo for the assault rifle and guide you through completing them so you can get your gold camo in the shortest time possible. The first step when you're looking to grind for the gold camo is to ensure your weapon is at its maximum level. This means you've unlocked all the attachments for that gun. The gold camo becomes available when you've unlocked all the other grindable camos for that gun. By grindable camos, I mean the sand camos, dragon camos, splinter camos, tiger camos, jungle camos, and reptile camos. Each of these camos have specific tasks you need to complete to unlock them. For the sand camos, you need to kill 600 enemies to unlock them. The dragon camos require you to kill 50 enemies with hip fire. For the splinter camos, you will need to take down 80 enemies at a long distance. To unlock the tiger camo, eliminate 125 enemies with 5 attachments equipped. To obtain the jungle camo, score 100 headshot kills. Lastly, the reptile camos require you to kill 80 enemies with no attachments equipped. Now, let's get our loadout ready. Grab the kinetic armor for your operator skill. For the perks, choose either the fast recover or overclock perk for the red slot. Pick the vulture perk for the green slot, which will keep your armor in check while you grind for the gold camo. The blue perk doesn't have a huge effect on this strategy, so feel free to go with your preference. And remember, score streaks don't matter here as our main goal is racking up kills with our guns. Let's dive in. Start by working on the reptile camos, which involves killing 80 enemies with no attachments. To speed this up, play a hard point match in a small map like shipment. Beginning with reptile camos is beneficial because your performance with attachments on the gun will be better since you are already familiar with the gun from playing without attachments. Next, move on to the tiger camos which require 125 kills with 5 attachments equipped. Set up your gunsmith with the necessary attachments. Accuracy is key when grinding for gold camo. I always prioritize the barrel, stock, laser, ammunition and red group attachments. Adjust your gunsmith to ensure a fast ADS time for quick reactions. Proceed to the dragon camos, needing 50 kills with hip fire. To achieve this quickly, focus on hip fire kills when grinding for the reptile camos in a hard point shipment match. This way, you can unlock both the reptile and dragon camos simultaneously. Now onto the splinter camos, which demand 80 long distance kills. Reset your loadout by adding an optic to your gun. I prefer the 3x tactical scope 3, but you can choose based on your preference. The goal is to have a zoom in scope. Play domination in Nuketown and position yourself for long shot kills. Remember to maintain distance from enemies while securing kills. Moving on to the jungle camos, requiring 100 headshot kills when grinding for tiger, dragon, and splinter camos. Prioritize headshots to unlock multiple camos at once. If you're still short on headshots, Dive into hard points and shipments for guaranteed headshot kills due to the tight map layout. Finally, let's tackle the sand camos, needing 600 kills. This should be straightforward since you've been grinding for other camos like the reptile, dragon, splinter, jungle, and tiger. All the kills you've accumulated count towards the 600 kills required for the sand camos. If you're not there yet, up into hard point matches and shipments for Nuketown to reach that goal. If you prefer grinding for gold camo in different maps, be sure to check out my video on the best maps for grinding the gold camo in COD Mobile. So there you have it, good luck on your camo grinding journey. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Nomso, have a nice day.